It'll definitely be an interesting next month or two. Yeah. Because there's going to be a lot of changes. Say hello there, people of the internet. Rev and I are just kind of playing on the bed in the playroom. Yeah. Having some fun. Watch this. <laughs> just like. Ooh. What? <laughs> okay, ready? Let's do let's do the belly flop. Ready? Belly flop. <laughs> belly flop. <laughs> belly flop. <laughs> no, the apple from the apple tree. Huh? Ooh, the apple. You want an apple from the apple tree? It's not actually raining right now, sweetheart. What other rain? The other rain outside. What's the other rain? You want to jump in the puddles? Yeah, outside. Oh, okay. So not the other rain. The puddles. Look who's joined us. Say hi. Harry, say hi. And then you bring her out there and she's like, nope, don't like this anymore. All done, Rev? Is it fun? Hey, yeah. You want to go inside go. or go in the room? It is Thursday and I'm home from work and there's a bug on the ceiling. Can I see the box? Yep. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. Okay. I'm going to see it. You want your probiotic? Yeah. She already got her vitamins. Oh. Keep going, Rev. Keep going. Woo. Man, I remember doing that on the dance floor. Are you going? Best spin. Ready? Lay your head down. Lay your head back. Put, put your head back. Put your head back. Yep. 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 There you go. Whoa. Whoa. Is that fun? So today, uh, finally, the rental company had got somebody to come out to take a look at the mold downstairs. He came. He looked. He saw. He said, "Your it's all kids." <laughs> yeah, he said everything is gonna go. Your kids and your dogs should not be downstairs. It is not safe because there is apparently a lot more mold than we even thought there was. Oh boy. So, you know, we're having tons of fun here. The basement is still a mess. As you can see, there's all kinds of stuff everywhere. We've been going through it like over the weekend. We went through. I mean, we showed you guys. We went through a lot of stuff. There's still just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that needs to go through. Over here, I've got all my books laid out because they got wet, and so I'm trying to dry them out. Like, even this book has mold on it. So I contacted the rental company today, or not the rental company, our insurance company that we have renter's insurance with, and um, they're gonna send out an adjuster to just check everything out. Who knows, we may not even be in this house in a couple days because they might say, you know what? It isn't really isn't safe for anybody being here, so we're gonna take you or we're gonna, you know, give you money to go stay in a hotel or something. You know, additional living expenses to accommodate for having to be out of the house. So there we've got some mold down here in the closet. Apparently there's a bunch of mold in the laundry room that we didn't see before either. So we're having lots of fun here, guys. But <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Yeah, look at that. All of that is mold. How did I never notice that before? Like I said, we may not, we may be getting out of the house in a couple days, just like us, go staying at a hotel or whatever it might be. Can you show, you can see all the oh, back yeah. of the mold through there. Oh, like along the wall there? Yeah. Holy moly. Oh, you guys can't even really see, but holy crap. Yeah, he said basically the entire carpet has to go. He said that they have to rip out at least two feet up from the entire basement of drywall and replace it. He said they want to rip out this entire wall because 
We've never had foundation cracks there, but I've kind of had a feeling that we do, but because of the kick out there, yeah. normally every time we've had it, it only comes out a couple inches. What in the world are the children doing? It only comes out a couple inches, but because of the kick out, like you don't, we wouldn't don't feel it. Yeah. So unless it was like a big issue. Um, so he said that entire thing needs to come out to make sure that there aren't any otherwise if they don't double check and there are then they're just gonna have the same issue again they're gonna have to keep replacing carpet i don't know he didn't say like if he thinks that because of how much water came in over there it sounded like he agreed that it wasn't like just the window i had to call the doctor and he said he probably wants us to come in right no we don't oh no yeah he said that it probably is mold but um he told us that we should take allergy medication because he said there isn't like testing that they can do to be like doubly sure that that's what it is. Um, and then said that there's some specific filter that I forgot what it was, but I'll look it up that we should be putting in our furnace. Um, and then uh, if after taking the allergy medications and the Benadryl for Rev, if it doesn't go away in like a week or two, that then we should go see him. And obviously we shouldn't be living in this house. That was another thing too, is they didn't want us in the yeah. house. <laughs> Otherwise it just won't go away. Like for Ari, right. he didn't even want her to have Benadryl. Like she oh, he really? didn't want her to have anything. And so the only way for her to get better is, is to get leave away the house. From it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad they're staying the weekend at my parents to at least give them like some break. Mm -hmm. But and then hopefully tomorrow we'll hear from the insurance adjuster to oh, come out and take a look. And our management company, I sent them a very strongly worded email. Yeah. There were no profanities. It was just very strongly worded. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you guys know it's been like two weeks since we had the three major weeks. water it's been issues. Three weeks yesterday. Three? No, three weeks yesterday since that one. Mm. Which that one gotcha. was probably happening at the same time. Yeah, just not to the just same not, extent. Yeah. So yeah guys, we're moving out in like a month to two months, a month if I keep my mom hat on and I make them do what I say. <laughs> Which I CC like the operations manager this time. The chief. Yeah, the chief. The COO. Yeah. <laughs> the big dog. COO of the company. Um, so I was like, well, you know, like, and I feel bad because Antonio's really nice. Yeah. Like, he's the one with those maintenance. He's really nice. And I have a feeling that a lot of it has to do with the fact that I think it's still owned by someone else and they manage it. Yeah. So they have to get everything approved by the owners. But I've been telling them about the carpet and yeah. mentioning possible mold issues for over two months. Yeah. So at this point, I'm like, I don't care who you have to deal with. Your tenant's health and safety are the most important thing. So you need to let us out. It'll definitely be an interesting next month or two. Yeah. Because there's going to be a lot of changes. And yeah. So. We'll see. slash playroom slash bed. We've decided our bed is like 10 times more comfy back up here. It's pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm. Rev's just pretty over much there just playing. just been hanging out with Rev in here yep. since Ari went down for bed like an hour ago. And I have no regrets, except that now I don't want to do anything because the bed is so crunchy. It's so sweet. See me there. <gasps> this is the bread I am looking for. Well, that was much less montagey than I expected. Here we go. Let, let's add to it a little bit. Oh, oh, okay, a little too high. We gotta tilt it down a little bit. Okay, ready? Oop! Oh no, it's getting dark. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. Okay, let's try this again. That is step one of the montage. You gotta tilt it, tilt it, tilt it, tilt it, tilt it, tilt it. Ready? And then, bam. Okay, we're, we're good on that part. Now, we gotta set this back up over here. There we go, we got that shot. Okay, ready? Oh! And now we drive, finally. Oh my goodness, that took like five minutes. Sometimes 
because I feel a little excited and I'll start doing montage and then I just kind of drift off because I don't want to take too long. <laughs> I'm a lot more, like for me, if I don't have anything else to work, oh goodness. Yep, that's not gonna work. We, we can't work like this. Brian got back from shopping and he got a little surprise. He didn't vlog it when he was in there, but apparently when he was looking for cashew milk, he found this plant-based, this other plant-based um, milk called Ripple. So he got chocolate and regular. Rev has been refusing to drink the cashew milk. She did it first and loved it. And now she won't drink it at all. Um, and I am worried about her like not at least having like that little bit of extra fat every day because she is so skinny. So, um, but Ryan picked that up not even knowing that I was thinking about trying something else with her. So maybe she'll like that stuff because we, like I said, we got the regular milk too. We're gonna try the chocolate tonight as well. We're actually gonna end the vlog here because I gotta get editing. We have a very busy weekend ahead of us and I have to pack the girls tomorrow. So I'm probably not gonna do it tonight, even though I should, but I probably won't. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And as always, we will see your wonderful faces on Monday. Bye.